Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger Outpost Suicidal. I mean, we have in shorter episodes today, just the one round. Uh, today I had to do all of the episode 4 for the single player Minecraft series. Because um, again, I put it off and now we're having to do this again. I have to get, I have to get into the habit of uh, making these episodes a little bit, you know, with a little bit more uh, leeway. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's just, it's just it's it's gonna be a few weeks before I uh, I really develop the habits that I need to be able to uh, play this properly. But episode four is mostly recorded at this point. I don't know how long I have to go and edit it, find out how long the uh, the video is gonna be, and then see if I have to get up early tomorrow to record a little bit more or not. I'm hoping I don't. I'm hoping I record it enough, but we'll see. We added a uh, made a skeleton grinder today. I guess I can show it off. Why not, right? So you got the um, the bones over here, and then if we run all the way, I get lost in uh, in my base all the time. It's it's a beautiful thing. If we run all the way over here, all the way over, all the way over. It's it's a it's a long trek. Uh, we got we got skeletons right there, and they will just. Uh, They'll, they'll suffocate to, uh, like, entity collision stuff and die. Technically, the spot where I was standing over here is close enough that uh, stuff will, will spawn over there. So that's what we worked on today. Built up this little room here. I like it. Anyway. It's, uh... It's good. So I'm, I'm hoping I've got enough recorded. For, for the the fourth episode we'll see I might, I might have to, to throw in a, a little um, where are, where where are, where is everything I might have thrown a little uh, you know three minute or four minute thing just a little fixer upper kind of project to finish it off I don't know I'm gonna have to edit it and see how much time we've got um, yeah, I've got to get into the habit of actually like recording them at the right time because it's uh, it's a problem <laughs> when when I have to. I mean, the thing is, is ultimately, uh, you know, I, I care more about the Minecraft series than I care about the Killing Floor Two series. You know, I, I care mostly about just having this out. This is more of a a personal thing for me. You know, for for my own satisfaction to to put these videos out constantly and consistently. So if I have to sacrifice one of them, it's this one. I'm sorry. There'll be a video every day. It's just some sometimes I might have to do a shorter video because I'm irresponsible. Is is what I'm saying. Sometimes my irresponsibility will uh, will will lead to to you being sub somewhat inconvenienced. It's uh you can blame me all you want for it. I had uh, we had dinner today. My mother made some chicken noodle well chicken soup with not noodles but with rice, but it wasn't. I talked recently about how we have like chicken rice soup sometimes, but it wasn't chicken rice soup. It was chicken soup with rice, but it wasn't chicken rice soup. It was it was like chicken noodle soup with rice. They're they're very different. Um, it was pretty good though. I made uh, I made some garlic butter. I love chopping garlic. It's a, it's a very satisfying thing. I do garlic butter in a weird way though. So you get your chopped garlic right. And you get your, you know, 18,000 pounds of butter. And you stick it in, the, in a pot or a pan or something. And then you, you know, put the butter and the garlic in there. You know, maybe um, skim off the, the milk solids if, if you're into that life. I don't really care usually. Um, it, it, it's not like a, a better thing. It's a different thing. Um, so I, I don't normally care. I, uh, I'm, I'm mostly happy with, with having the milk solids in my, my garlic butter. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you want it to be a little more clarified, maybe go for, like, ghee or something, I don't know. Um, so that, that's all normal, right? You, 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 like, heat up the, the butter with the garlic, kind of infuse those flavors. What I do after that is I sift the garlic butter so that I remove all the garlic bits from the butter. Uh, and then I store them separately. Because in my opinion, once once you've gone through the process of, like, heating it, stirring it around mixing it up the the butter is garlicky enough you know like that's that's garlicky enough for any use case where I would want garlic butter like I, I prefer it to be a little bit um, subtler anyway so so it, it's garlicky enough for me like it's very garlicky for the record 
Um, but if you like leave the garlic in, then you sit, then it sits in the fridge or something, and you use it the next day. It's like extra garlicky. You really should be using garlic bread immediately if you want to have it like really good. But um, I like to have garlic butter in the fridge just so that I have uh, garlic butter in the fridge because it's just good. Um, but I separate them and then I store them separately. Because the, the, the little garlicky bits that come out of it that are like coated in butter are delightful if you like toast up some bread and you just like spread it on there. Because it's like mostly mush at that point after it's been mixed up and you know fried. <laughs> it's mostly mush. Um, fairly spreadable. Uh, especially if you like you know chop it very well. Um, so it makes a very 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 nice spread for, for toast for you know, anywhere that you'd want both butter and garlic, but you don't really want, like, a lot of butter, but you do want a lot of garlic. You know what I mean? So I kind of end up with, with garlic butter, and then also butter garlic, you, you know? And, uh, to me, it's just, it's just a, it's a nice way to have, uh, to make two things at once. You could store them in the same, but then you're forced to use them both at the same time. If I don't want them both at the same time, I don't have to have them both at the same time. And typically, I I'd, uh, I wouldn't want to have my, my garlic butter to be, like, super, super garlicky. Because uh, I'll often use it for, like, stir-fries or anything like that. And it's just adding a nice little garlicky sort of taste to it, you know? Which is nice. Pleasant. Anyway, I made some garlic butter. And then I, uh, I toasted a couple pieces of toast. Or a couple pieces of bread. I toasted a couple pieces of bread to make toast. Um... In a, in a pan with uh, with some of that garlic butter. And uh, fried up an egg also in some of the garlic butter. It was a very garlic buttery sandwich. <laughs> and I made, I made a little fried egg sandwich. With the with the, the toast and the, and the garlic butter and the delightfulness. I had a bit of hot Genoa salami that I chopped up into uh, like cubes-ish. Not super big cubes, but, but cubes-ish. Um on the sandwich and then uh, had a bit of soup with it and it was, uh, it was it was a good time all around I would like to have some like lettuce or something some bacon maybe um, but you know what it worked out okay that's what I had in the fridge and uh, worked out okay now I got a lot of uh, a lot of garlic butter a lot of garlic I made like I did like half a uh oh I don't know if you could hear that, but my mother just yelled out, It's the toilet! And I'm like, oh god, do we have a flood or something? But no, it was just, uh, the, like, lid was offset, you know? So it was, uh, constantly going off. I think I was the last person to use it, and I must have bumped the lid or something. It happens all the time with that stupid toilet. It's a just terrible toilet. I, I normally realize it, but I, I guess this time I just didn't. My mother was panicking over it. We have, we've had like several house floods, so it's it's reasonable to panic over it, but it was and then they've all been because of toilets too. Like we've had several house floods because of toilets. It's a, it's a traumatizing thing for us, I'm sure. Anyway, had uh Oh dearie. Oh dearie. I'd rather kill you with it, to be honest. Um yeah, had a nice chicken soup with uh, with a like garlic bread fried egg sandwich. Got a lot of garlic uh, butter left in the fridge. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I'll do something. It's great to make like fried rice, I think. Anyway, I'm a fan of it. Um, I mean, like you can do anything with fried rice. Fried rice is a, it's just like a fantastic dish to just put anything you want in it. It's it's really great. You know, you got you got some leftover peppers, you got some leftover peas, you got some leftover carrots, chicken, pork, shrimp, salmon, steak. It, it don't matter. Whatever you got leftovers, fry some rice, stick it in, and it'll taste good. Promise. And there's probably if there are other dishes you could do with those leftovers that would probably be better. There aren't any other dishes you could do that would take less time than fried rice, while still tasting better than fried rice. It's just it's a very very fast, easy meal that uh, you can just use whatever you got and uh, garlic butter I think I, 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 I'm you know it's, it's probably a, a polarizing thing garlic butter 
You, know, you either like garlic or you don't like garlic. I'm a fan of garlic for sure. So, uh, so I love having garlic butter and stuff. It's way better if you're making toast. Just like butter your toast with the garlic butter instead of normal butter. Like it just, it's just better. I want to make some other like uh, infused butter things, you know, because you, you you can do some like you know herbal kind of garbage in it, you know, maybe some thyme and rosemary or something perhaps. Do a couple different types of butters. I'd like to, to make. I mean, it's, it's a very like butter is just in everything, you know. Like anytime you're cooking, I, I've said butter just so many times. Anytime you're cooking something, like butter's probably involved at generous. some point in the process. Let's be honest here. Unless you're like vegan or vegetarian or something, but like, let, let's be real here. Butter is used everywhere, so if you can get taste your butters, it's just like it's it's a really great starting point, you know. In my opinion. For, for easy things, you know, if I'm making like a complicated thing, I'd rather just like make it, but like just having like a nice tasty butter in the fridge and using that whenever I'm making toast or something, like it's just a straight upgrade in my opinion. Anyway, it is like 8.30, so I do have to end this episode, we have to record the other one still, and I have to edit the Minecraft video, lots to do, I gotta get better at, uh, at recording the, the Minecraft videos. And I'm going to be adding in RuneScape videos too. Oh my god. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.